I posted a picture of this build. This is my first build on AR-15 website the other day, and I had a lot of questions about what it's all about, so I figured I'd make a quick video. Explain all the parts and why I did them. Then we'll do a quick six round shoot because this will be the first time out. So if it blows up in my face, you're gonna see everything. Let's start at the back. We got the Magpul ACS L stock. It's a light version. It has the dust, it has the storage door, but no battery tubes. Underneath we have the Palmetto State Armory mil spec buffer tube, buffer tube assembly, spring, standard buffer. We went with the Magpul MOE grip, it's the rubberized version. It's much more comfortable and for me, it seems like it handles recoil, recoil better than plastic. Up top we have the Fortis hammer. We have Magpul M bus backup sights. We went with the EOTech 512 with the gg and lens covers. Now to be honest with you, I'm kind of annoyed at this EOTech because as you can see, there's different color screws in here. I wanted to take these screws out to coat the hood of this thing and they were in stripped. They were stripped and in cockeyed. You would think for 400 bucks they could put the damn screws in straight. Minor annoyance, but you know, I don't know who to be annoyed at, whether it be EOTech or am I annoyed at Cabela's where I bought it? I, I don't know. I mean, again, it's just a minor irritance, but it should still <laughs> not be cross threaded. All right, continuing on, we got the Midwest Industries 15 inch SSK. It's a key mod rail. Really like this rail, it's very light, mounted up so easy. Here we got the Fortis angled foregrip. I'm interested to try this. It feels really comfortable in your hands. Very, very light. And at the end we have the Fairfronds CRD uh, muzzle brake with the attachment that goes over the top of it. I'm gonna run it without it for a while and uh, see how it works both ways. But I think that other attachment, the concussion device is gonna be really good for the range. It takes all the gas, shoots it forward so it doesn't piss off your neighbors. On this side, we're running the Haley Strategic in force, momentary only flashlight, about 200 lumens, about 90 minutes of continuous use. Very, very light. I think it comes in about two to three ounces. Really nicks up well, I like it. Going to the lower, we have the Battle Arms Development Ambidextrous Safety, otherwise known as the Badass Lever. Over here we've got the Phase 5 Tactical, Tactical EBR V2. I love this one. I originally was running the Tactical Link, and I just don't like the screws. I love the way this mounts up inside with just a roll pin. No screws to come loose, fall off, what have you. Went with the, for the upper receiver, we went with PSA, Palmetto State Armory. For the lower, I went with a stripped PSA lower with the lower parts kit. This is a classic lower parts kit. What I was going to do originally was install a, a new trigger. And I'll tell you what, I got to using this trigger. There is zero creep on this trigger. About a four and a half pound, but it's not great at all. Just very, very smooth. So I'm like, you know what, I just saved 250 bucks. I was gonna go with the Timney Skeletalized trigger. But I think I'm gonna keep this one for a while. This is really sweet. I like it. Again, this is going to be the first shot through this thing. Oh yeah, we've also got the KNS anti-roll pin kit. This will be the first rounds I put through this thing since I built it. Now, I will full disclosure, I did buy the upper assembly as a complete upper. I'm not gonna lie. However, I did have to break everything down, replace the stock hand guards, the A2 front sight post, installed this. So the only thing that I have not installed on this gun was the forward assist. Everything else was at my hand. So hopefully it's not gonna blow up on me. If it does, you're gonna see it. Cause I'm not, what the hell? If I have half my face left, you'll see that too. I don't anticipate any problems. We're gonna do six rounds, very nice and smoothly and easily. Oh yeah, also we went with the PSA, full auto, bolt carrier group, nickel boron. So I'm gonna run it without oil on these first six rounds. I'm gonna have my little cameraman here, my editor, we're gonna watch where the where the brass goes because we'll do a, a little check on the brass after it done after we're done. We're also gonna do a break it down and see, make sure everything's wearing nicely. So, like I said, we're gonna do very six easy, very rounds, nice and smooth. And uh, you know, we'll see how it works. 
grab a mag here. Get your ears on, boys. I'm still here. It worked. America, peace out.